Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jay Mass, and I'm back again with another dope New England adventure. So today's abandoned exploration is one I'm wicked excited for. It's a place I've known about for a decent amount of time now, but I'm hyped to finally bring you guys along with me and explore this place. Now, as you can see, I'm currently standing in front of an abandoned building. This is one of many abandoned buildings we're gonna be checking out today. I'm actually on a former hospital campus. That's right, we're checking out an abandoned hospital. This was actually the Norwich State Hospital. It's currently shared between two towns, Norwich and Preston, Connecticut. I'm currently on the Preston, Connecticut side. Now, originally the Norwich State Hospital opened up in 1904 as the Norwich State Hospital for the Insane, but it later changed its name to the Norwich State Hospital, which is what it's mostly known as today. Now, the hospital operated up until 1996 when it was officially closed down, and ever since then, they've been um, going through periods of renovation and demolition. Most of the buildings that once stood on this property are completely gone and demolished. Only a couple remain. Obviously this one right here. There's also another you can kind of see behind me right over there. I believe that was the main building. But we're gonna try to check out as much as we can today. There's quite a bit on this um, property. I have a feeling it's gonna be a long video, but I know you guys like those long exploration videos, so I'm hyped to check it out with you guys. But we're just gonna jump right into it. I'll tell you more about the history and information as we explore. But yeah, this is the Norwich State Hospital here in Connecticut, shared between the towns of Norwich and Preston. Yeah, I'm hyped. Let's get right into it. Um, as always, guys, my name is Jay Mass. If you love urban exploration, checking out abandoned sites, and exploring New England, I always do that. So feel free to subscribe to the channel, or you can follow me on Instagram, at Jay Mass Official. That's at Jay Mass Official. And I do have to say, it's a bit of a rainy day today, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to try to go out as much as I can, but it is pretty rainy. Um, luckily, we're at a lull period right now. Hopefully, it doesn't get too crazy weather-wise. But yeah, let's get right into it. Norwich State Hospital. All right, guys, and we are officially off. We're going to check out the Norwich State Hospital, shared between the towns of Norwich and Preston, Connecticut. Um, right away, as you can see, I'm in a pretty dilapidated building. I do want to start off by saying I'm not exactly sure the name of this building. I believe it is one of the largest buildings on the property but I don't think it's the administrative building or the headquarters or anything. Not really sure. Uh, we're going to keep going through in a minute, but I do just want to show you the front entrance really briefly. So this is where I was just filming the introduction right here. Got some nice columns right there. It's like a little patio area. Um, there's no staircase, but I assume at one point there was a staircase here. This is probably the front entrance. And then, of course, you have that other building over there. That one I'm most excited to check out because I do believe that's the main administrative building. But again, not exactly sure what building we're in right now. I'll of course include below later on if I find out. But yeah, let's check it out. There's a lot of rooms to see. So far though, most of the rooms appear to be pretty empty. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for quite a while, you know that I love exploring abandoned locations that have lots of basically historical artifacts and stuff in them. I'm talking about like remnants of documents and records. I mean, even furniture. I just love finding things when I explore abandoned locations. So I'm really hoping the Norwich State Hospital isn't completely empty, but so far it looks like it is. I don't even know where to start. There's so much to see here. It's a pretty big building. I guess we'll do this wing over here first. I'm gonna kind of peer into every single uh, room. Obviously, most of these are empty, so Probably won't spend too much time in every room, but I will kind of guide you guys through as I walk around. Pretty cool so far though. I think we were just in here, weren't we? Also, the architecture is pretty cool. I just want to point that out. Most of this, well, I think most of the buildings on the campus were made of brick. As you can see right there, brick facade. Yeah, I believe most of the buildings on this campus were made of brick and, well, still are made of brick. Unfortunately, though, as I did mention at the beginning, a lot of the buildings on this campus were completely demolished. There's not that much left. I want to say, so this closed down in 1996, but I believe within the last decade, they've really made efforts and ramped up efforts to demolish as much as possible. Kind of a shame. It's, in my opinion, just destroying history, but, you know, it is what it is. It's not my property. Damn, this is a huge place. <laughs> There really is so much to see here. A lot of pretty cool graffiti though, I gotta say. A lot of very artistic abstract graffiti, which I like. Though you do get your occasional 
disgusting and offensive comments, which I don't like. <clears throat> wow, pretty big place. So I'm not really sure if we're going to get to every single building today. I'm going to try to get to as many as I can. Um, there's just, again, we're, obviously a lot of stuff has been demolished. There is still a quite a decent amount of stuff left, though, on the campus. I'm going to try to see as much as I can with you guys, but uh, no promises. We'll get to every single building. Damn, this is such a big place, and we're only on one side so far. There's also a top floor, a bottom floor. I mean, you guys saw I walked past a couple stairwells. Uh, the other thing you'll notice, too, which is kind of cool, there's actually a cemetery over there. So there's actually a couple cemeteries, and I believe there is a Norwich State Hospital burying ground nearby, too. I'll have to look that up later. I'll try to get there if I can. But I do believe that there's a graveyard with... You know, the graves of those who perished in the Norwich State Hospital. Usually, most abandoned hospitals and insane asylums do have cemeteries and graveyards for the deceased. Hmm. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go back to the other side. I'm going to go where we started, check out that other end. We'll finish up this floor, and then we'll do the uh, top and bottom floors. Pretty cool so far, though. Check this out, guys. I did just want to show you really briefly the back end of the hospital building we're in right now. Check this out. You got the pretty cool brick architecture, little shed right there. And then this is what I'm talking about right here. Just a vast, sandy and dirty pit. Um, clearly, there was another building here. There's been a lot of construction vehicles. Um, there's been a lot of demolition here, basically. And you can see it like that right there. So hopefully this building stays up for a little while longer. But I do think this building... It's probably uh, on its way out, you know what I mean? I don't know exactly how many buildings were on this property in total, but there were definitely quite a bit. Um, just a lot of them have since been demolished and destroyed. So I think we actually saw this entire ground floor that I'm on right now. I walked a little ways over and, so this is actually where we started right here. Walked a little ways over there. Not too much, though. Completely empty on this floor. So I think what we're actually going to do is head upstairs. And I'm actually going to head up the darkest stairs because uh, <laughs> it's almost spooky season, right? Halloween's coming up soon. Just a couple days. By the way, at the time of releasing this video, it will be Halloween. I actually plan on releasing this video on Halloween in honor of spooky season. So uh, happy Halloween, you guys, if you're watching this right now. <laughs> Pretty cool though. There's a lot of signs of destruction though. All these uh, loose brick plaster walls and just everything laying around. Crazy stuff. Well, it does look like it stopped raining, which is good. I don't see any more rain outside. When I first got here though, it was pouring. Yeah, that building I'm really excited to check out. Hopefully it's not completely empty like this one. As I mentioned, I love finding historic artifacts. My favorite are just records and documents. I love finding old records and documents that are actually dated. You know, finding the years that they were produced. Oh, I love that stuff. It's so cool. It really does feel like you're stepping back in time into a time capsule. A lot of weeds and moss and stuff growing around. Yeah, this place has definitely been untouched for some time. So I guess I'll get a little bit more into the uh, history of the Norwich State Hospital. So as I mentioned, this place opened up in 1904. And when it opened up, ugh, sorry, when it opened up, it was originally known as the Norwich State Hospital for the Insane. Now it later changed to the Norwich State Hospital which is the name it's more commonly known as today. And it operated all the way up until 1996. So basically from 1904 to 1996, this place was in operation. Now it treated many different people. Obviously you had a lot of um, people suffering from severe mental disabilities, you know, mental health issues. But there were other people who came here, geriatrics, chemically dependent patients, and throughout the 1930s, there were a lot of patients with tuberculosis who were also stationed here. 
So the Norwich State Hospital treated quite a, quite a number of different people, pretty diverse um, patient groups. So it definitely wasn't just a mental health ward. There were a lot of other patients who were here. Pretty cool though, very interesting. Yeah, so um, gotta say, you know, a little disappointed that every room is just completely empty, but it is really cool to walk through. Don't get me wrong, I'm really liking this a lot. The Norwich State Hospital is very unique to walk around. I also haven't pointed this out yet, but look at all the paint. The paint is just completely chipped away. You know, not in great, not in great uh, appearance. I feel like I don't see that very often in abandoned locations. I feel like usually by the time I get to an abandoned spot, you know, the paint has just been entirely removed or chipped away, or it looks like that. But I feel like a lot of this is just completely chipped. I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of cool. Check this out guys. So um, we're not on the roof itself right now, but we're on a portion of one of the roofs. This is a smaller part of the building or maybe a shed, not really sure, but I did want to show you this platform right here. And then this is the actual roof of the hospital building we're in. You can see the roof is really in bad condition, completely dilapidated. The wood has just rotted away right here too. I mean, look at that. Wow, a lot of disrepair, but still pretty cool. I did just want to show you guys this spot up here. You can also peer into some of the rooms like this. I don't know, pretty interesting. So one cool thing about the Norwich State Hospital, it's actually situated right nearby the Thames River. You can actually see it right over there. And I yes, there is a river in Connecticut called the Thames River. Um, of course, it filters out to New London, Connecticut, go figure. But yeah, I did just wanna show you guys this um, outer level right here, I thought it was pretty cool. We're gonna venture back in and uh, finish exploring this building. Okay, so this side we haven't been to yet. Gonna keep making my way through. And then I think once we reach another staircase, I'm actually gonna head down below. It did look like there was a basement level. Uh, I'm not sure how deep this building goes, but from what I'm understanding, it's a three floor building. There's the upper floor, which we're currently on, a ground floor, and I think a basement level. That's kind of cool, look at that, Deadpool. <laughs> I think this is the other side of the upper level right here. Ah, such a shame. I thought there would be more historic artifacts and stuff. Oh, you see that out there? That's what we were standing on. So we were actually standing on that building right over there. Kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, pretty big place. This kind of reminds me of... Uh, the Lakeville Hospital. I actually explored the Lakeville Hospital about a month ago in Lakeville, Massachusetts. This kind of reminds me of it, you know, has a lot of very similar properties. Completely abandoned hospital campus that's in the process of being demolished. All the rooms and stuff are empty. Really gives me that vibe. Now, if you guys want to see a really fascinating abandoned hospital in Connecticut that actually has a ton of stuff to see, definitely check out my video on the Mansfield Training School. Oh, that place was so sick. That was probably one of the coolest abandoned hospitals I've ever explored. And that's also here in Connecticut. Pretty cool. So, I want to see... Okay, yeah, so this is the staircase down below. Let's head down here. And then if it brings us another floor below, then we can check that out because I think we only have one more floor in this building. And uh, yes, there is. Let's see. Does this lead to, a oh, it's a dead end. Huh, that's a dead end. Maybe they don't have a basement. I'm gonna keep uh, peeping around a little bit and I'll catch up with you guys shortly, but I am gonna really see really quick if there is a basement level or a third floor. I'll get, back, uh, I'll get back with you guys really shortly. Okay guys, so I'm back on the ground floor and somehow I missed a pretty big area right here. So right here, you actually got two elevator shafts. Those are where the elevators would have been. That's pretty cool. And then it looks like over here, there's a bunch of stuff, a bunch of rubble. Somehow I missed this. I don't know how I did. 
it's like the only room that has stuff in it. <laughs> Not much, obviously, but mostly just rubble and debris. But yeah, there's like a huge pile of just concrete slabs and brick and rock and metal and just random shit. Look at this. Pretty wild. Damn, this graffiti looks brand new. Look at that. That's so sick. Brand new graffiti right here. This is probably just a couple days old. Wow. I think that really might be it, though, to be honest. Um, I couldn't find a way below so far. I think there's one more staircase I can check. I'll check that with you guys really briefly, but I don't know. Maybe there isn't a basement level. I thought there was. Or if there is, I just haven't found the entrance to it. But as you guys can see, this building is just pretty empty, you know, not too much going on. Pretty empty building. I'm hoping that isn't the case for all of the buildings on the Norwich State Hospital campus, but we'll see, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay, I think this is a dead end too. Yeah, so that was the first building on the campus. Again, not really sure what building this was. I, If I found out, I would have included it by now. I think we're gonna keep on walking around. I'm gonna go back outside. We're gonna see what else we can find and I'll catch up with you guys very shortly, but hope you're liking it so far. Pretty cool. So really briefly, I do just wanna show you guys the exterior of the building we were just in. So this is where we were just inside, the first building that I ventured into. You can see pretty big brick building. This is the front entrance right here. And it goes off in two separate wings. You got one side over there one side over here, but I do think it's just two buildings. I don't think there's a basement level, but still pretty cool. I did just want to show you guys that. Um, we're going to keep making our way through the campus, see what else we can find. Um, but yeah, so far pretty cool. Yeah, the first building. All right, guys, directly in front of us, we have yet another abandoned building to explore. This one is definitely smaller than the one we just explored, so I don't think we'll be here for as long, but still really cool, as you can see very same um or same roof entirely pretty similar architecture got the brick exterior pretty cool and i can already tell this is probably going to be another abandoned like empty building doesn't look like there's much inside looks completely gutted but we're going to check that out in a second does look pretty dope and again to kind of harp on my point of there being a lot of construction you just have all of these sandy pits everywhere the sandy road with a lot of uh excavator wheel you know prints everywhere yeah this place doesn't have too long unfortunately so we're going to check out this building right here and i do see a few more on the campus we can check out got one right over there and of course the main one right over there but yeah let's start here see what's going on all right we're inside the second building and you can already tell this place is completely empty this place was clearly just gutted everything removed from it so it's basically just a giant shell of a building. As a result, we're probably not gonna spend too much time here, but I do wanna walk around with you guys. So we have this massive empty room right here, really fucking huge. Surprisingly, not too much graffiti here. I mean, of course there's graffiti, but I feel like compared to the other one, not as much. I wonder what this building was. I have a feeling the first one we were in was an actual hospital building. Oh, there's a basement. Hmm. Yeah, so I have a feeling the first building we were in was a legitimate hospital building, you know, where patients were held. This one, I'm not really sure about. This doesn't really strike me as a hospital building. So I'm not sure what this would have been. I don't know. I'll, have to, I'll try to find out, do some more research after. Wow, look at that. We're definitely not going up that way. <laughs> that way, I think we can. That looks a lot safer. Yeah, let's go to this end, but I do think this is just yet another empty side of the building. Very just barren in here. There's a little room right there, though. Let's, let's peer inside. Curse. Oh, am I going to get cursed? <laughs> Hope not. Yeah, just a little cool little room in here. Not too much. This was kind of cool though, check this out. Obviously it's a pretty shitty day out, so I'm sure the view is better on a nice and sunny day, but look at this view. That's the Thames River right over there that I was telling you guys about, the Thames River. 
And um, in a minute, there's another cool thing we can see from outside. It's obscured by trees right now, but I will show you very soon that I didn't actually mention earlier. Yeah, let's keep on going. So there's actually a few other small rooms I'm gonna peer in before we head up. Bunch of racks in here. This kind of looks like it might've been some sort of storage freezer. So maybe this was like a dining hall or something. I don't know. That's my guess though, could be wrong. And not too much back here. Although this looks like it was a loading dock. Probably had trucks, trucks backing in here. My God, this is such a beautiful view. Look at that. Look at that view. Obviously, as I film this, it's October. So, of course, the fall foliage is in full effect. Absolutely gorgeous. And look at this. The back end of the building we're in right now. Pretty damn cool. So there clearly is a basement to this one. I think we're going to head upstairs first, though. We'll do the basement last. That's usually what I do on these explorations. My go-to is usually ground floor, top floors, then bottom floors. I don't know why, just kind of a habit. <laughs> All right, got to be careful about this. You know that um, walking on abandoned stairs is always very risky. I can clearly tell by the many missing steps. Jesus Christ. Can I do this while filming? Ugh. Oh, I can, nice. Yeah, same thing, pretty empty up here, not too much. Kind of reminds me of a huge abandoned warehouse though, like, you know, a factory or a mill. I feel like every time I explore an abandoned mill, they're usually looking like this, just a massive empty husk of a brick building. Wow, look at this. That's pretty cool. The roof right there. Obviously the, wood, the wooden roofs of these buildings are in horrible disrepair. Not in great shape. This is pretty cool though, huh? This I'm kind of interested to check out. These were the destroyed stairs. Yeah, look at this. Just completely caved in on itself. I wonder if an urban explorer did that. Like someone who was exploring this building. I wonder if they accidentally destroyed that. Who knows? Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, you guys want to head down? I think we'll go check out the basement, and then that's really it for this building. Pretty quick one, but cool nonetheless. All right, to head down below, I think we're going to take these stairs. I tried looking at the other stairs. Um, they just weren't in great shape. So I think we'll check down here instead. Yeah, it's like an alternate entranceway. Can we make, oh, we can, not too bad. All right, this is the basement, the basement level. Of course, the darkest. And you got a lot of pipes here, look at that. A lot of piping, electrical equipment. So I guess this wasn't really a basement, it's more of a uh, utility room or a maintenance room. They probably had storage, piping, all that stuff. I mean, I, I can't walk down here without crouching. It's too low, so obviously not too much going on down here. What is this? This little room. Look at this. Pretty cool little room in here. They actually do have some stuff left behind. Like this machine, what even is this? I don't even know what this is. If anyone knows, please inform me in the comments. I always love finding out about old machinery. But unfortunately, that's beyond my expertise. Pretty crazy. Yeah, I think that's really about it for this building, though. That was interesting. Obviously, not too much. You know, it was uh, pretty empty, pretty gutted, but cool nonetheless. Okay, I also had to show this off because it's just too cool to skip. But I found another room going down. This doesn't actually connect to the room we were in earlier. This is an actual proper basement. And this is actually pretty damn big. Look at this. Obviously not too much, but this is a legitimate basement level. Down below. 
Again, I wonder what this was, but it's uh, pretty cool. Looks like, wow, okay, there is, there is a decent amount of stuff down here. Damn, I didn't actually think that. I thought we saw all there was. <laughs> this is fucking wild. Look at this shit. Did I just... Okay, this is where we... So this is where we just were. This is all the piping and stuff, the electrical stuff. Right here, the utility room. But then you have all of these weird little corridors and rooms and stuff. So this is the actual legitimate basement level. Pretty cool though, huh? I wonder what they uh, did down here. I mean, I wonder what this building was used for in general. I can't even really tell. It doesn't look like a hospital building, so I have no clue. All right, guys, so I just left this building a moment ago, and do you remember when I said that there was a really cool sight to see that was obscured by trees, and I would show you very shortly? Well, that time has come. This is a really cool view. Check this out. So, of course, right in front of us, we got the Thames River. But then right over there across the river is Mohegan Sun. So if you don't know, Mohegan Sun is a huge casino here in Connecticut. It's actually in Uncasville, Connecticut, and it's owned by the Mohegan tribe, a Native American tribe who's uh, indigenous to the area. They own that casino right over there. And who knew that Mohegan Sun, this massive billion dollar casino, is overlooking the Norwich State Hospital. I honestly did not know that, and I've been there a couple times before, so that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, really sick view though of Mohegan Sun and the Thames River. Just wanted to show you guys that really briefly. But we're gonna head on. I think we're actually gonna head to this building right over here next. So we're gonna check that out and uh, see what's going on over there. Check this out, guys. We got another pretty big building to explore. This one does look like it's three floors and again, pretty massive. So I think we might be here for a little bit, but I do want to check this out. Um, yeah, I just want to show you the exterior first. Pretty damn cool. And check this out right in front of us. So this is the main entrance and it actually does have a staircase we can head up. Just pulling out my uh, trusty flashlight. Let's head in and see what's going on. Pretty cool so far though, look at this. I love these stairs, these moss covered stairs with vines and vegetation growing on them. Super sick. And I just love these columns. The other building we were in earlier actually had these columns too. Or the first one, I mean. Huh. All right, let's uh, head inside. Oh, is that, a, is that a bed I see? Nice, look at this. Two beds right here. A box spring of a bed, a bed frame, I mean. Really cool, so this building might actually have stuff. I do have to say though, this building looks almost identical to the first building we were in. I don't know if you guys can remember that far back, but this is almost identical in architecture to the first one. You know, you had the entrance right here, the columns out front, you walk in, this room layout is like nearly identical. It really does feel like deja vu. Yeah, the staircase going up. This is pretty much the same building. Although uh, in much worse shape, it looks like. But yeah, this is pretty much the same exact building that we were just in at the beginning of the video. Right, I guess we'll walk through and see what's going on. Hopefully there's at least more here than the first one. And it looks like there is. Look at all this stuff. Looks like there's just a lot of random furniture and shit. I keep seeing a lot of a lot of box springs and you know bed frames and stuff. Yeah, this is the back end right here. Very interesting. Just another building on the Norwich State Hospital campus. Built in 1904 as the Norwich State Hospital for the Insane. Abandoned in 1996. And just a refresher for your memory, as I mentioned, the Norwich State Hospital treated many different patients. So they treated, um, you know, people with mental health issues, you know, mental deficiencies. They treated chemically dependent patients, geriatrics, and of course, tuberculosis patients. Although it appears that the tuberculosis patients were mostly here between the 1930s. Hmm. 
Yeah, this really does remind me of the first building. It's like an almost carbon copy of what we saw earlier. I think this must just, I think this literally is. I think they must have used the same exact blueprint to build this one because it's identical. Watch, we're gonna go down below and it's gonna be a dead end. See, told you. Wait. No way, I was fucking wrong. There's a basement. So maybe they filled the basement on the other? That's fucking wild, dude. Holy shit, I was wrong. <laughs> there is a basement level. Oh, I okay, I know what this is, guys. This was something I was gonna mention much later, but I guess I'll mention it right now. So as you can see, they got these uh, pretty cool, almost looking like tracks, these pretty cool tracks right here. You might be wondering, what is this and why is it in the basement? Well, the Norwich State Hospital, like many other abandoned hospitals, actually has an extensive tunnel system. Now, the main purpose for the tunnel system was to wheel patients in and out of different buildings much quicker than usual. I mean, keep in mind, this was many, many decades ago, and it was just a lot easier and safer to wheel patients to and from different buildings through um, secret and hidden passageways, especially so they wouldn't come into contact with other patients. Now, many abandoned hospitals today still have these tunnels. A lot of them are completely filled in. I've actually never been inside of an abandoned hospital tunnel before, but I know a lot of them have them. For example, the Fernald State School and the Metropolitan State School in Waltham, Massachusetts. The uh, Seaside Sanatorium, which is also in Connecticut. I mean, there's a bunch of these buildings that do. The Mansfield Training Center, which I mentioned earlier, that also did. But of course, it looks like the Norwich State Hospital also has a tunnel system. I'm actually gonna head back to where we were to show you that. But yeah, so the Norwich State Hospital also had a tunnel system. They were primarily used to, um, well, mostly wheel tuberculosis patients. And that's just because tuberculosis patients were really, really, um, well, pretty bad in the grand scheme of things. It was really easy for them to infect other patients. Now, when I was reading online, it, I read that most of the tunnels were completely filled in, but it does look like they left some of the tunnels behind. And what we saw right over here is one of those tunnels. I thought that they would all be filled in. That's why I didn't even bother mentioning it to begin with. <laughs> but it looks like this is it. So I think uh, while I'm still on film right here, let's, let's check that out really quickly, see how far it goes. It might be blocked or filled in because I did read online part of the demolition crew was filling in these tunnels. Let's check it out. Damn, this is fucking wild. Look at this shit. I've never been inside an abandoned hospital tunnel. That's like been on my bucket list for ages. Yep, they filled it in. <laughs> They blocked it. But back in the day, you would have been able to keep on going. This would have brought us to another building, basically just an easy passageway to go to and from different buildings without actually having to go outside. Pretty cool. All right, I'm up on the top floor right now and I noticed this little room right here. Looks like it kind of goes up. So I do just want to check this out really quickly because the first building we were in didn't have this which leads me to believe it was probably sealed shut or something. Look at this. So this is the attic. We got the roof right here, ventilation system. So yeah, this is just some sort of attic right here. Pretty cool though, huh? Very interesting. I think we're gonna head back down. So right now we're on the upper floor. Now, as I mentioned, um, this building is basically a carbon copy, like an identical copy of the first abandoned building we explored. And pretty much every room is vacant and abandoned. Not too much going on. So as a result, I am gonna walk through with you guys, check it out, but I'm probably gonna skip forward a little bit um, just because it is so similar to the first building. And there's uh, quite a bit more I wanna check out on this campus. Oh, look at this, a little bathroom right here. Got some abandoned toilets, cool. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna look through a little bit more here in the upper floor, but I think we might kind of skip through this building just because, again, it is so similar to the first one. 
And uh, this video is going to be pretty long, I can already tell. So, you know, I don't want it to be like five hours long. <laughs> oh, look at this. Now, when I think of an abandoned hospital, this is what I think of. Completely deteriorated and destroyed. This is wild. I do have to say, though, this is kind of strange to point out, but the air quality isn't too bad in these buildings. Like, I think it's just because all the building, uh, all the windows are just completely wide open that a lot of fresh air is coming into here. I feel like sometimes when I go to abandoned hospitals, the air quality is so bad because it's just not great ventilation. And, of course, they got shit like asbestos, you know, plaster in the air, all that stuff. But the air quality has been pretty good at the Norwich State Hospital. Actually, not too bad at all. Oh, look at that. Nice lookout view. <laughs> yeah, so it um, hasn't been too bad in here, to be honest. I've, I've definitely endured worse. Uh, another bathroom right here. Yeah, it's a pretty cool building. I mean, I definitely, I definitely like it more than the first one. I feel like there's a little more to see. Of course, we got to go to the tunnels down below and the attic. We didn't do that in the first one. There's definitely a lot more like furniture and stuff. But again, that's really about it. Most of the building is just completely barren and empty, which is kind of a shame. I was hoping to find historical records and documents, but I, I do understand that this building is in the process of being destroyed. So I get it. Well, I think we'll go a little further and then I'll probably cut back to down below and yeah, we'll keep out checking the many buildings on this campus because there's quite a bit more to see. I think we can probably hit a few more buildings to be honest, more than I expected. Ah, pretty cool building, fucking huge. <laughs> well, yeah guys, I think uh, I'm gonna head down. I'll meet you there in a second. By the way guys, one thing I do always like to mention whenever I explore abandoned hospitals, especially hospitals that had a lot of uh, patients suffering from mental illnesses and um, other chronic illnesses. It's important to understand the human cost that occurred here. Obviously, there were a lot of patients who perished, who were mistreated, abused, you know, basically died solemn and disturbing deaths. A lot of them who have gone unnamed to this day. It's important to understand the human element whenever we explore and experience these abandoned hospitals. I think that's something a lot of urban explorers don't really take into account. And don't get me wrong, it's fun to explore these for the thrill of it. I love it, that's why I do it. But I also love the history and the human element. And I do think it's imperative when you explore an abandoned hospital that a lot of patients suffered in to acknowledge that suffering. So just keep in mind, whenever I'm exploring these abandoned hospitals, these abandoned asylums, all that kind of stuff, I'm always keeping in mind the human element. I mentioned earlier in the video that there's a burying ground somewhere on the property for the um, patients who died in the Norwich State Hospital, and I'm sure many of those deaths were not pleasant. I'm sure many of them were suffering and mistreated. So it's just something to keep in mind. I do like to make that clear and um you know i like to voice that point in these videos just something to keep in mind you know the human element it's important a lot of people were not treated very well and a lot of people suffered and it's important to remember that when you're exploring these um pretty crazy places all right guys before we leave this building i'm just gonna head this way a little bit this is the opposite wing on the ground floor we haven't checked the side out yet but I do just want to explore this really briefly on film before we head out. But yeah, pretty cool building. Um, again, very similar to the first, but definitely has a little bit more to see. Wow, look at this. This is kind of like that room in the first building that had all that debris, if you guys remember. That's a pretty cool piece of graffiti. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, I love stuff like that. I really wish more abandoned places had this amount of detail and effort put into their graffiti. I feel like so many of them just don't. And it's just random obnoxious scribbles. But I love stuff like that. I really do. 
I'm not anti-graffiti. You know, I've said many times in videos, I'm not anti-graffiti at all. I love graffiti, especially if there's put, you know, there's effort and detail put into it. But unfortunately, that's not the case most of the time. Yeah, pretty cool. Definitely um, the worst shape of any building we've explored so far. But I feel like there's a little more to see here than what we've uh, been used to. And a lot of bed frames here. I think that's the most interesting thing is so many bed frames. Look at that. That's what I was hoping to see more of. Remnants, you know? Pretty fascinating place, I gotta say. The Norwich State Hospital. Yeah, I've known about this place for a bit, just never came until today. I gotta say, you know, Connecticut has a lot of really cool abandoned places. Obviously, I'm from Massachusetts. I'm most familiar with the Massachusetts abandoned spots, and I think Massachusetts definitely has the most of any other New England state. But, you know, Connecticut really is a close second. Connecticut has a lot to see, too. And I have barely even scratched the surface with Connecticut. So uh, look forward to seeing more Connecticut videos in the future. <laughs> All right, I think that's about it for this building, guys. We're going to head back outside to see what else there is to see. Check this out, guys. Now this is creepy. Got this random white building buried within all the trees and plants and stuff. Now, this obviously isn't a hospital building. This isn't even really right within the hospital campus, but it's right outside of the hospital campus. And I wonder if this was maybe some sort of townhouse or maybe some staff building. Clearly, this was a living space, though, like a residential building. So clearly someone lived here, but I wonder who. It was probably someone related to the hospital. I have to assume it was maybe the uh, superintendent's house or a staff building. Not really sure. Nursing house, maybe. But we're going to head inside nonetheless, see what's going on. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Look at this. Kitchen area right here. Okay, so there's actually more to see here. Got a nice little kitchen. The kitchen sink and the cupboards. Huh, very cool. Little sunroom right there. It's kind of crazy to see like how buried this is within the trees. Like this was really nestled within the woods. I mean, obviously I saw it from a distance, but I could see this just being missed by a lot of urban explorers. It really is completely nestled in the forests. That's the backyard right over there. The living room. And of course you got the fireplace still here. The nice little fireplace. This is so cool. Another little uh, sunroom area. Though this place is an absolute horrible shape. Horrible disrepair here. You can see like the wall right there. And this stairwell. Look at this shit. I want to head upstairs, but uh, it's kind of sketchy. Uh, let's give it a try. It doesn't look too bad. You know, Urbexing Advice 101. If the stairs look too sketchy, don't even bother. Half the time, it's not even worth the risk. That's so sick. It still has the, the wallpaper left behind. Look at that wallpaper. Flowers. Flower pattern. I love, I love finding wallpaper in abandoned buildings. So cool. Yeah, the bathroom right here. Bathtub. Broken mirror. Enter if you dare. Sponsored by Verizon. <laughs> All right, let's see what's up here. This is the upper level. So these were probably the bedrooms up here. Looks like there's a closet, some sort of bedroom. Another seeming bedroom, seemingly a bedroom over there. Another bathroom. Got the toilet, got the bathtub, sink, which has been removed for some reason. That's bizarre. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool, guys. So, yeah, this was a, a strange house 
right off of the Norwich State Hospital campus, which I assume has something to do with the staff who worked here. I doubt patients lived here, though it could have been maybe some sort of nursing home. Who knows? But that was pretty interesting. I forget, was there a basement level? I think there was, right? Oh yeah, there is a basement. Let's peer inside the spooky basement. It is Halloween season after all. Not too much going on in here. I like it's the missing sink. <laughs> yeah, not too much going on in here. Pretty cool though, yeah, interesting house. All right guys, we got another pretty big building right here. This one is also very much obscured by the plants and trees, as you can see. Definitely when compared to the other major hospital buildings we've explored, this one is pretty obscured, which is strange. Not sure why, but we're gonna head inside, see what's going on. I think this is gonna be our second to last hospital building. I think the last one we're gonna check out is the main administrative building. And then I think that's about it for today. But I do want to peer inside, see what's going on. So there's a lot of furniture in here, as you can see. Got some lockers and shit. Lockers, cubbies. Definitely different from the other buildings we've explored so far, though. Jeez, look at that. Like some weird piping room or ventilation room. This is probably for maintenance, you know, utility room, is my guess. Yeah, look out there, covered in plants and trees. Okay, so there is a room below. Oh shit, the, the roof's missing. Well, I'm just gonna kind of wander around in here, see what's going on. Um, I was looking on Google Maps and this does look like a pretty damn big building. So we might be in here for a little bit. Hey, I didn't, I, I did try to warn you guys. I said it would be a long video. You didn't believe me. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a pretty long video because we still have another whole ass building to explore after this one. And I'm not even seeing everything on the campus. Norwich State Hospital is a massive campus, which is crazy because they've already demolished so much. I'm telling you guys, so many buildings have already been destroyed and razed. And even then, there's still a lot to see on this campus. It is a huge abandoned campus. Definitely one of the biggest I've explored personally. This is cool. Oh, look at this. Like a little, this is like a courtyard. This is so cool. So this right here is an abandoned courtyard. Um, as you can see, it's surrounded on all four sides by building. So this is a little courtyard in the middle of the building. I think but that's pretty cool. So this really is such a huge building. God damn. Oh, a lot of cinder block here. Something got destroyed. Yeah, honestly, at this point, I'm just kind of wandering around. There really is so much to see. So many rooms, I should say. Obviously, a lot of the rooms are just empty and not too much going on. You know, you got your occasional bathtub, but that's really about it. A lot of lockers here, though. I do wish I knew a little bit more about the Norwich State Hospital's history. I know the basics, you know. Built in 1904, closed in 1996, had a couple thousand patients throughout its, its operations. Oh, look at this. Another bed right there, bed spring. But I don't know specific details about it other than that. I wish I did. Although I'm sure I didn't dig deep enough before coming here. I try to research as much as I can when I go exploring, but you know, I usually miss out on more explicit details. So I, I tend to uh, add it in post afterwards while editing. This is a pretty cool building. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep wandering around. I'll uh, try to show you guys as much as I can while I'm here. I'll probably skip some rooms and stuff for the sake of time, but so far, pretty damn cool. I'm liking it. All right, guys, I'm up on the top floor now and check this out. Decent amount of stuff up here. Of course, you got some more, some more beds. 
dead frames. This is kind of cool though, look at this. Some sort of a rusty drawer. Not really sure exactly what that was, but that's pretty cool. Probably had a mirror on top. Yeah, this is a, it's a cool little building. <laughs> I shouldn't say little, it's a pretty damn big building, but still cool nonetheless. Again, a lot of uh, empty rooms. Oh, destroyed bathroom right here. Hmm, is that it for up here? I guess that's really it for the upper level. It seemed a lot shorter than I figured. Oh, there is a staircase going up here. Okay, so this must be the attic right here. Yeah, I think this is the attic. Okay, I got the roof above us. Let's peer outside. And this right here is the courtyard. So this is a courtyard I was telling you guys about. It's surrounded on all four sides by brick building, as you can see. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna head back down, uh, keep exploring. All right, now we're heading down this hallway right here. As you can see, it is an absolutely massive building. There really is so much to see here. Now, one thing I do want to mention, oh, there's the uh, courtyard again. So one thing I do want to mention as I was here, I actually heard some people in the distance. So as a result, I think I'm gonna cut this a little short. This building that is, I'm still gonna explore the main administrative building, 100%. But I think I'm going to cut my exploration of this specific building I'm in right now a little short. I just wanted to check out a few more rooms and hallways before I head out. That's just because I don't really like exploring buildings with other people. <laughs> you know what I mean? I kind of like having the whole thing to myself when I'm uh, exploring and filming. So as a result, I'm going to head out very shortly. So I apologize for that. But I mean, ultimately, you guys saw most of this. You get the gist of this building. It's huge but it's empty, but there's quite a bit to see and it's a pretty cool spot. A lot of rooms, a lot of hallways. Yeah, this was probably some sort of uh, abandoned hospital building or a medical building. Oh, there's even a number on the door. Osmo, not sure what that was. Maybe that was the name of the doctor. Not really sure. But yeah, pretty cool. So guys, I think that's about it for this building. Next, we're gonna head to the main administrative building. I saved best for last. That's the one I was most excited for. And then I think that's about it for the Norwich State Hospital, formerly the Norwich State Hospital for the insane. So unfortunately, as you guys can see, it's really started to pick up with the rain. Right now it's uh, pouring rain. I actually got my handy dandy umbrella with me as a result, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that. So this in front of us is the main administrative building. I'm gonna try to get in in a second, but I did just wanna show you, this is from the back, the head administrative building of the Norwich State Hospital. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get a video or shot from the front. So right now I have to just do the back, but I did wanna show you guys that. And I think in a second, we're gonna try to make our way in. The other thing you'll notice too is look at all this. There used to be a massive complex of buildings back here. Unfortunately, they've all been destroyed. You can see remnants of them with all the brick and concrete littered on the sandy ground. So there was once a massive complex of buildings back here. All that remains is the administrative building itself. But we're gonna try to head in in a second, see what we can see. And we're in. We are currently inside of the administrative building of the Norwich State Hospital. However, we're actually on the basement level. So we're gonna be starting here in the basement and working our way up. But it's really cool so far. Look at this. I do have a feeling it's gonna be uh, pretty similar to a lot of what we've seen so far. You know, empty, barren rooms, not too much. But still, I'm liking it. And this really is one of the biggest places I've ever explored. Abandoned places, that is. I feel like there's just so much to see here. Okay, this is kind of cool. Check this out. So there was probably uh, a lot of servers right here, you know, computer servers and networks. Looks like this was probably some sort of server room for early computers. Obviously this closed down in 1996, so the computers wouldn't have been too sophisticated, but 
still kind of cool to see that. Let's uh, head down here. Apologies for the very grainy um, video footage. I'm obviously in a very dark and damp concrete basement. Hmm, pretty cool. What is that door? Where does that lead? <laughs> I just see this dark little door. Uh, just a little storage room. Pretty cool. All right, so I think it looked like there were stairs right over here. Uh, we're gonna head up. Yeah, right there. So we got some stairs. I think we're gonna head up there and see what's going on. Okay guys, we are on the first floor right now. We just left the basement from these stairs right here. I'm just gonna kind of wander around because again, I don't really know where to go from here. Oh, that looks so sick. We'll get there in a second. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just gonna wander around right now. No specific plan in mind for my exploration. Clearly this was some sort of bathroom right here. Looks like a shower room. Huh. Yeah, keep in mind what we're in right now was the administrative building. So this building I do know, it was the administrative building, basically the head honcho of the uh, complex. So there were no, so as a result, I don't think there were any uh, medical rooms in here, no patient rooms. I do think this was primarily just uh, staffing and administrative stuff. Oh, pretty cool so far. Okay, I really want to see this main room. This looks so fucking sick. Did you guys see that grand staircase we walked by? I have to see that. I think it was, yeah, right here. Oh, check this out. So this is the main entrance. This is the front of the administrative building right here. Take a look at that really quick. Yeah, so this is the main entrance right here. But check this out. Oh, this is so cool, the grand staircase. So this is probably the front desk or at least one of the front desks. You know, that's where you would go to check in, check out, maybe go see a loved one. That's where you would go. And then this is the main staircase. So sick. Of course, a lot of random rooms and stuff. I'm sure a lot of these are just empty, probably. Wow, big ass room in here. Look at this. Yeah, a lot, of, uh, a lot of empty rooms, a lot of staircases going up, although I do wanna take that grand staircase, which, you know what, I think I'm gonna do it right now. Let's check this out. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Uh, looks like the railing is missing though, that's weird. I think that's a bit of a uh, building violation right there. You need a railing for people to hold on to. I'm gonna report you to the Norwich and Preston town offices. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Okay, so this must be the top floor right here. I don't know if this is the top, top floor, but one of the top floors. I'm sure there's higher levels though. Oh, there was stuff over there too. I don't even know where to begin. I think we'll start over here. Look at this. And this is the front right over here. Such a massive place. Really just keeps going on and on. <laughs> Damn, such a big place. It's funny because the administrative building looks kind of small on the outside. It's definitely not the biggest building we've explored today, but it's really dense once you get in. I feel like there's so many rooms and hallways and corridors. Oh, this is cool. Series of small little rooms right here. I usually try not to open uh, handles like that because some people set up traps and stuff. Bathroom right here. Let's peek over here really quick. Yeah, so got a little bathroom. Oh, pretty cool. Got another decent sized room right here, but 
check this out. There's a fireplace. So I wonder what this room was. Maybe some sort of living space, some sort of a uh, hangout room. But yeah, you got a fireplace right here. Although we're on the upper floor, so it's definitely not the main living room. God, this is such a huge building. It really, it really is a lot bigger when you're inside. It definitely seems smaller on the outside. Oh yeah, so there is a way up. Let's head up there, see what's going on. So this must be the upper level because the grand staircase we took led us up, but I didn't think that was it. I figured, you know, there has to be more stuff. And it looks like there is. Oh, there's even another floor. <laughs> Jesus. That's the back right over there. You can see one of the buildings we checked out earlier, right over there. Pretty cool. That's a big ass room right here. Oh, is this a, oh, this must be a dumb waiter. I think that's what that is, maybe, or a ventilation system. It's either a ventilation system or a dumb waiter. That's pretty cool. Jeez, this place is fucking huge, huge. It's also extremely dark in here compared to the other buildings. I mean, keep in mind, we're not in the basement. We're actually in the upper levels right now. And it's pretty dark in here. Just because most of the windows are completely boarded up. And I have a feeling that just because this building is the closest one to the main road nearby. There's a main highway not too far from here. Of course, we're near Mohegan Sun. So I'm sure a lot of the people who use those are tourists heading to Mohegan Sun. And they probably don't want these windows open. That's my guess. That's probably why it's so dark in here. I think we'll head up there in a second. I do want to check down that little hallway. And then I think we'll head up again. Yeah, this hallway right here. Look at this shit. Kind of creepy. This is weird. This is a weird ass room. Look at this shit. Yeah, pretty interesting. So I think what we're gonna do now is head up the flight of stairs again. I'm not sure how high up this goes, but I guess we'll just keep following it. Yeah, guys, I think this is the attic right here. Look at this. This is the attic of the administrative building. You just have ventilation, pipes, all that stuff. Not too much going on, to be honest. So I think we've pretty much seen everything. The only rooms that I know we definitely didn't see were those ones near the grand staircase. So I think we'll head there really quickly. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about it for the Norwich State Hospital. Obviously there are other buildings on the property. I didn't see everything. I, I actually did see most of the buildings today, but there's definitely some we missed. Um, but they're really small ones. We saw most of the big ones. I think it's a couple other houses we missed, to be honest. I think it came this way. Yeah, I think it's uh, mostly just small houses and stuff like that that we missed, but we saw most of the big medical and hospital buildings. So I think I'd say it's a pretty successful exploration. Okay, so we're back on the grand staircase, you know, the main one right here. I think these are the only rooms we really didn't get a good look at. Not too much though, to be honest, pretty small. Pretty cool though. Yeah, that was, that was fascinating guys. That was the Norwich State Hospital shared between the towns of Norwich and Preston, Connecticut. Massive complex, so many buildings. And again, even for all of the ones that have already been demolished and destroyed and raised, there's still quite a bit to see here. Now, I personally wouldn't recommend you come here. It is definitely risky and dangerous. So please just enjoy this from the comfort of your own home. I, I'm mostly doing this as um, historical preservation. I think this history needs to be preserved and documented, especially considering that this is gonna be demolished soon.
But I did just want to show you guys that. Pretty damn cool. Hey, thank you guys for joining me. I've been Jay Mass as always, and this has been another dope New England adventure. So yeah, guys, we just explored the Norwich State Hospital. Obviously, this place opened up in 1904 as the Norwich State Hospital for the Insane. It was later abandoned in 1996 after many decades of operation, and during that time, they treated many people, especially those with mental health deficiencies, um, geriatrics, tuberculosis patients, even pe people with just chronic illnesses. But by that point, it was the Norwich State Hospital. It closed in 1996, and ever since then, it's been completely abandoned. Now, there are many, many buildings on this campus, even today, but of course, at one point, there were dozens. It was a huge, sprawling campus, but unfortunately, within the last decade or two, they've been demolishing most of them. So while there still are a lot of things to see on this campus, not as much as there used to be. But nonetheless, that was a really cool urban exploration. I quite enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. There was a lot to see here. Um, as always, guys, if you love urban exploration, you know, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm always doing that. Or you can follow me on Instagram, at jmassofficial. That's at jmassofficial. But yeah, this has been another one for the books. The Norwich State Hospital, shared between the towns of Norwich and Preston, Connecticut. I thought it was pretty dope. There was a lot to see, pretty spooky. And as always, guys, Happy Halloween.